Hello to all my Fox Hollow fam. This week on Baking with Fox Hollow Kitchen, we're celebrating National Bagel Day with some awesome cinnamon apple bagels. Only on Baking with Fox Hollow Kitchen. Foxella fam, I'm Todd and welcome to Baking with Foxella Kitchen. Well, it's National Bagel Day. Today we thought it would be a really fun time to do some apple cinnamon bagels for you. They're sweet, tasty, and so, so good. So if you're ready, then let's have some fun. To start off our bagels, we're going to go ahead and mix in one and a half cups of warm water into our mixer. We're going to add next two tablespoons of honey. Not easy to get the honey in there. Yeah. But it's well worth it in the, the end with it. I think that's good enough there, Dave. Yeah. Next up, we're going to add a tablespoon of oil. One and a half teaspoons of salt. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Four in one quarter cups of bread flour. And then two packets of yeast. And then we're just going to mix this with our dough hook do you see dough balls starting to form? Alright, now that we've got dough starting to form here, we're going to let this knead here for another five minutes and just stopping it occasionally because you'll see as we're showing here the dough is wanting to climb up the dough hook. So. Okay. okay, that looks amazing. To top everything off, we're going to add a cup of apple diced. Now, Dave and I like using Granny Smith just for that little bit mm -hmm. of extra tartness. And then we're going to add a three quarter of a cup of cinnamon baking chips from Hershey's. Okay. And then we're just going to mix it back in until everything is good and mixed together. Alright, that looks absolutely amazing. I'm going to go ahead and clean off my dough hook here. And then I'm going to put this under our stove or on our stove, I should say, and let it, the dough rise here for about 90 minutes. Okay, it has been 90 minutes, so let's go ahead and get our dough out and knead it in some flour we have on the table here. Now your dough is going to be very sticky, however it is perfectly fine that way. Just work a little bit of flour on it. Don't have to be exactly particular with it. Next up, what we're going to do, we're going to make some dough balls. And just roll them out like this. 
and then we're going to place them on our baking sheet here and then we're going to let the dough rise for about another half hour yet before we give them their nice little bath and one more thing before we let them rise here for another half hour we're going to take each one of these and poke a little hole through them just work it with your thumb it will probably end up swallowing up back together but just do the best you can with it Okay, so we've got a pot of water boiling here. We're going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of brown sugar to our water. And just go ahead and get that mixed in here. And then once our bagels are, excuse me, our water Boy, it starts boiling here. We're going to go ahead and cook our bagels 30 seconds on each side in the boiling water, and then we're going to put them in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes at 400 degrees. part the taste test so let's see how we did here mmm definitely taste the apples in the cinnamon great combination you guys are gonna love it enjoy wrapping up today I want to thank you again for joining me and encourage you to check out our friends and support channels listed in the description below but before I go Always remember, it's good times and good food on Baking with Fox Hall Kitchen. I'll see y'all soon. If you like this video or any of our other videos, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons and stay tuned for future shows.